The biggest problem with this deck is that there isn't really anything new we get to do. We just get to do the same things that all the other decks already did. I'm beginning to think that maybe this super broken format is actually like... Hmm. Well, this hand's pretty bad. Yeah, we'll keep to see where it goes. I'm beginning to think that maybe a super broken format doesn't have the longest longevity. <laughs> In terms of how interesting it stays... I think I'm actually like kind of obligated to Whirlwind Denial a random 3-3. Three, three. Nah, I got a 1-5. We'll be fine. There's probably no way I'll never draw anything relevant and then just die to a 3-3. Three, three. Ooh. Well, I definitely can't let them have a second 3-3. Three, three. That would be unbeatable. There we go. Okay. Player 1-5, I have a blocker. I guess this thing technically gets bigger, doesn't it? Maybe that actually should have gotten countered. Bookworm. Alright, that's big. Could be a problem. We're not terribly far away from killing the opponent, though. Now that we can mascot interception their bookworm. Could eventually Pillar Drop Warden back Eureka moment if I need more card draw, but for the time being, I think I'm supposed to hold up Test of Talents. So I can Enthusiastic Study, Pillar Drop Warden, and then Annihilation Bookworm, they draw a card. Yeah, I think that's the best I've got. I'm just not very excited about it. But I don't have a lot of ways to deal with that 7-7 otherwise. Alright. I feel very behind on cards, but luckily my spells are blue and red and the opponents aren't. Mage Duel. Target creature you control gets plus one plus two until end of turn, then it fights creature you don't control, so it gets up to five power. Dang, I actually have to test to balance that if I want to keep my Pillar Drop Warden alive. Mm -hmm. So they have blue cards, they just don't have blue mana. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Do I have lethal here? I don't think so, but I'm interested to find out. We get to draw three cards. Oh, wow, that was a lot of nothing. Pop quiz. Solve the equation. That might be lethal? Alright, it's a little way the mountain. So we're currently doing 13 damage. I don't think we can get there. But we can definitely get somewhere. If I hit like two introduction to prophecies, maybe? I could also just tutor up in a gate and be very safe. They're limited to one blue mana next turn. Yeah, I guess negate's probably the safest thing I can do, huh? Is Breakthrough lethal? I don't think I had a way to do lethal. Breakthrough would have been plus three damage. 
if I got Enthusiastic Study, that would have been plus 4 damage. Would have put him to 1. Breakthrough into a top deck prophecy. Oh, could I have done... Did I have enough mana? I don't think I had enough mana to do Breakthrough into Eureka Moment. I only had one mana left after the tutor, right? But I could have tutored Introduction of Prophecy and then maybe had Lethal. Breakthrough makes a treasure, but I need two to cast Eureka Moment, and that would still only be one, because it still costs one mana to cast the Breakthrough. Hmm. I can't help but think there might be something I can go get. Is there a way that, like, mascot interception on Quandrix Pledge Mage is lethal? I don't think so. Oh! Still maybe not? Oh, yes, wait, because I can negate Letter of Acceptance. Right? And they don't have... So, Mascot, Negate... Yes, 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 yes. No? Okay. <laughs> they were just willing to concede to that without me showing the letter of acceptance. So I had letter open after the tutor, but I only had letter open, right? So if I tutor for breakthrough, then I have to tap the letter to do that. And then I have a treasure, but I can't cast the Eureka Moment because Eureka Moment costs two. And the tutor didn't cast the spell that it tutored. I still had to spend the mana to cast it. I might be missing something, but I think that's how that works. I don't think I had more mana than that. Okay, turn three on the draw, first day of class, Elemental Masterpiece is about as bad as I can imagine it being, but I guess we'll roll with it because I got nothing else. It's weird how too many Eureka Moment just isn't very good in this format. <laughs> I definitely don't think it's worth splashing for. Well, you'll keep it. Because I don't have enough creatures that are actually threats to be willing to mulligan elemental masterpiece. Should have done that on their turn. Forgot I was on the draw. I kind of think I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this introduction to Annihilation now, because I actually need every other card in my hand. Yeah. All right. Throw away a little bit of value there. I was thinking I wanted to do that then in case I hit a letter of acceptance, but that isn't really even very much of a difference. If we do hit Letter of Acceptance there, after casting Pop Quiz on their turn, I can just play on my turn, because that's how Moxes work. Uh, not 
signing a letter of acceptance for Eureka Moment hurts. I could play Elemental Masterpiece here, but that really just doesn't actually create any kind of clock that's relevant at all anyway. Land drop expressive iteration. Brave. But okay. I guess they literally had to because they had a red source. Or rather, they needed the red source. All right. Many environmental sciences. I'm kind of surprised they didn't play the environmental sciences to deck then last turn, come to think of it. Or still haven't? All right. Could have made the serpentine curve bigger, but okay. Well, unfortunately for me, a 7-7 is a pretty good blocker for elemental masterpieces. So we can't really attack with them this turn. I do get to attack with the Biblioplex Assistant, though. And they do at least make good double blockers on a 7-7. Although I could just choose not to block the 7-7 and probably be happier. Alright, opponent, what you got? Jadzi, does that do anything? Wait. You may pay, cast it by paying one rather than paying its mana cost? Oh, but the discount still applies! <laughs> okay. Okay. So whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, cast the top card of your library for free. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. I understand why my opponent held on to environmental sciences. It seems correct in that context. Oh, and if it's a land card, just put it onto the battlefield untapped. So as long as you have instants and sorceries, cast a lot of stuff for free <laughs> is what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's also five Letter of Acceptances in the top 30 cards. <laughs> Seems decent. First day of class. Okay. They do have to actually kill us. Yeah, Elemental Masterpiece is pretty good at that. Okay, so that puts us to dead. <laughs> that puts us to dead. <laughs> Alright, that's a good way to get lethal on turn four. <laughs> alright, alright. I appreciate Jadzi. That makes a lot of their choices make more sense. The expressive iteration one, yeah, I, I guess if you just have to play it, then that's a fine way to play it. Sometimes you have to play very bad cards in your deck because you can't afford to not play them. <laughs> Certainly we're in that situation. Mm. I guess this is turn two tempted by the Arik if the opponent decides to play a creature. So that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> The opponent's deck getting to go off, play their entire deck on turn four, and have 20 damage, <laughs> lethal in haste. That is, that's pretty good. I approve of that a lot. First day of class, huh? But I don't actually have the red sources necessary to do anything with that. So I think that's a no for me this time. 
Nope, or we can draw the other first day of class. That works. Alright, well, we get to hold up Test of Talents and just hope the opponent doesn't play more Cogwork Archivists because I actually can't do anything about that. I also can't Tempted by the Eureka Cogwork Archivist, so come to think of it, this is kind of, like, terrible. Hmm, that's a problem. So I could Tempted by Eureka 4-4. But isn't that kind of bad because they also got a 4-4? I guess I'd rather test to talents it. Hmm. I can steal their Biblioplex assistant, I guess. That's not good, but it is a thing I'm allowed to do. Hmm. Yeah, not being able to first day of class this Pillar Drop Warden is kind of awkward. Still probably the best thing I can do. Oh, wait, no, I didn't even want to play that, because now they're not going to attack with the Cogwork Archivist. And I do actually sort of want them to attack with the Cogwork Archivist. Hmm. Well, we can Pillar Drop Warden to get back Introduction to Prophecy, I guess. And then, like, Teach by Example Introduction to Prophecy is... something? I should have looked at the rest of their deck when we were looking at everything with Test of Talents, huh? Hmm. Okay... Test of Talents on Elemental Masterpiece feels incredible. It is very nice that it gets rid of it from the graveyard so they can't get it back with Biblio Bib Biblioplex Assistant. Okay, wait. Enthusiastic Study. What do you do? Anything interesting? Nothing like Stellar is the problem, so I think I'm just stealing their... Oh, I can't, because that isn't actually a one-drop. Right. So what is this format? You don't pay generic mana costs. The format is that everything costs five generic less. It uh, definitely makes for a very weird format. I really don't have anything particularly good I can do here. I guess I like Trade Fuming Effigy and Enthusiastic Study for Cogwork Archivist? Is that like the best thing I can do? No, I guess I can double Enthusiastic Study to trade with it, but if they just double block... Okay, they don't double block, so that's something. They have something they can do here, which means I guess they drew a one-mana instant. Well, any single blue instant, I guess, more realistically. So hopefully not divide by zero. Baryan books. That also sucks. Kind of wanted to get that learning done so that I could actually draw cards loot away this tempted by the Eureka, most likely. Okay, I get Burian Books, Barrier, Pillar Drop Warden. Alright. Well, it's not the biggest clock just yet. And if they wind up... Yeah, Biblioplex Assistant. That gives us something to Tempted by the Eureka. Hmm. I'm sorry, you're... A card this bad is a 4-drop? Wow, I really need to not play Tempted by the Arik. Hmm. So I can first day of class... No, they're just redrawing burying books. So I'm kind of locked out of anything here. Alright, yep, I just die. 
I guess I could enthusiastic study one of their creatures, loot, first day of class, loot. I get to see one card deeper. Oh, I kind of feel like I need to cut Tempted by the Arik for a dual land. Ugh. Oh, that was our third loss. Okay. So, lesson learned. Don't have the bots not pass you enough creatures. Because <laughs> we had to play a lot of very underwhelming cards. I probably had opportunities to do things like not play Tempted by the Arik. I kind of forgot that that literally hits nothing other than tokens. And paying three mana to steal half of Elemental Masterpiece is like the worst possible thing I can imagine doing. 